Tracy Reed here today coming at you with a life crafted layout in my Chicago album from 2022. I am almost done with this album, but I had a few outlying layouts, including this one about a few of the regional places that we went when we were in Chicago to eat. So I thought that the Coco Daisy Let's Go collection with its fun diner theme would be perfect for this layout about Portillo's. Uh, and um, Gino's pizza, the deep dish pizza. So I am going ahead and starting with some remnants of some 12 by 12 papers that I have from the 12 by 12 paper kit or add-on um, that I've already started using for an actual 12 by 12 layout previously on my um, YouTube. You can watch that video, it is already up. And so I had these remnants and I wanted to use them up because I think that they were look really cute together. This red checkerboard matches the um, Portillo's tablecloth and like the whole concept of a um, pizza place. So it was perfect. And then that fun paper that has all of the logos all over it, all the diner logos and things was just perfect. So we're going to start there, use up some of our scraps, which you know I always love doing. And I have some large photos. That photo on the right is not a 4x6, but um, close to a 4x6, and I'm going to build stuff over the top of it, or build my title over the top of it, and I wanted to put Chicago down the side of the photo, but I didn't want to do it directly on the photo because once these letters go down, they're never coming back up off of a photo, so I'm using a scrap piece of paper that's long enough to line up my letters and I'm just kind of sticking it right to the edge of the scrap piece of paper so that I can then transfer it over to the photo itself, making sure that it is the right size. I'm leaving a little bit of room at the bottom of the photo to add eats. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet as far as the rest of the title, but we're just going to go ahead and plop Chicago down. Probably wasn't the best idea. I could have waited, but it was like, you know, one of those ideas that pop into your head and then you're like, oh, I got to put this down right now. <laughs> um, it could have waited and then I probably wouldn't have struggled <clears throat> putting the eats part down, but it, it works out in the end. So I just made it a little harder for myself. I'm going to go ahead and stick this ticket sort of sized paper um, journaling card behind this photo like it's a pocket. So I'm going to grab some uh, double-sided tape and I'm going to create rails with this double-sided tape. Now this tape is super flat. I normally like using red line tape because it has a little bit of depth to it, but I was out of red line tape. So I'm gonna use this flat tape instead. It still works just fine and adheres and creates the rails that it needs to create. It just doesn't have quite as much lift off of the page, which makes the um, card a little bit harder to get in and out of. Now making sure that I put the bottom rail at the appropriate place so that it doesn't go all the way down behind the card, or the photo, I mean. I added a hole and some string so that it has sort of like a tag effect out the top and it will create a little bit more texture with that string and make it a little bit more interesting to look at. So now I'm just going to tuck this behind the photo and figure out what to do with the other side of the page. Um, I do have, there's not a lot of, this collection doesn't have a lot of like very specific icons, it's a lot of words and so because there are a lot of words in the background. I have sort of a limited selection of icons or things to work with when it comes to embellishing this page. And I really wanted to add that card in there because it has the hot dog and um, we're, we're not big hot dog people. I'm certainly not a big hot dog person when it comes to like taking pictures of hot dogs. <laughs> so I just had to get that hot dog on the page of Portillo's so I wanted to make sure I put that down but I was just really not happy with just adding that extra layer of busyness on this page I am going to leave it there like this whole page and um, work around it but then I'm going to sort of adjust it later on down the line and you'll see what I do to make it a little less just like overwhelmingly a big block of red icons. <laughs> I'm going to add some more of this string to this guest check tag and add some more texture with some with this um, 
paper clip, but that paper clip does end up moving. So I do have the stationary collection and in the stationary kit, it has these vellum stickers, which didn't quite have the impact that I was hoping for with that white center. Obviously white vellum is just going to kind of disappear. Um, so I just have that like tag outline and I thought I would replicate it with, um, another vellum tag on this other side here. Once I, once I get past this, this is all going to get rearranged, but I'm going to leave, leave this part of the process video in so you can see what my thought process was. Um, I wanted to use the pizza, of course, because the other side of the layout is pizza. So I have this vellum tag too, and you can see how when it is on the white backing, you can just, you really can see the whole tag. And I should have left it on the white backing, but instead I peel it off and then it sort of just appears, <laughs> which is the hazard of vellum stickers over non-white surfaces. So. When I put both of those down, I just was not happy with the direction that this was going, mainly because down there at the bottom of my right-hand side photo is where like all of the action is going, right? Like I'm standing at the bottom of the photo. The rest of the title is going to go at the bottom of the photo. Um, all of these embellishments are going at the bottom of the photo. I'm about to put a whole nother one at the bottom of the photo and it's just looking so crowded and that's driving me bonkers. And I'm just, you see, I just keep readjusting things, moving them lower, giving the photo some more breathing room. And it just literally is not working for me. So I'm going to discover that maybe I should use this um, diamond sticker for the eats part of my title. So I'm gonna very carefully pull this up. Luckily it came off and I'm going to put it right here underneath Chicago, which just adds a whole another, <laughs> another thing to the bottom of this photo, but it does work perfectly to build my title. So I am going to leave that there. I am happy with it. And then I'm just going to put each of these orange letter stickers on each diamond, which I think frames it out really nicely. And then I will trim the edge diamond and add these little stars to the edge. Cute. Okay, so now that that's there, the rest of this definitely has to come off. I very carefully, breathing on the back of the stickers, pulled those off and magically came off without ripping anything. I'm gonna put my little pizza guy here instead. And then we are still a little bit crowded in that bottom corner, but at least it's not crowded on both sides. And it looks a little bit better sort of anchoring that bottom right hand corner of the layout, giving you that diagonal line across the page from the top left to the bottom right. Tried to make that um, sticker work. It wasn't going to work. I cut out some journaling strips from some scrap paper and I'm going to go ahead and put them down here which will help cover up some of that journaling card, or I guess just, you know, the patterned card, but I'm still not really happy with it. I'm going to add in my journaling itself to these strips before I do anything with that pattern. There we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and write my journaling, add a stamp up here that says menu, which I think gives it a cool... I mean, obviously not mixed media, but it gives it some nice layering up there with that stamp. And then I'm going to add in some journaling, looking for my pen here. <laughs> there we go. And then once I add in the journaling, I go ahead and pull up that card. You can see me contemplating. I'm going to pull up that card and I'm just going to use, I'm literally going to use the lid of a candle that I have sitting on my desk, a round lid. And I'm going to cut this into a circle instead of this just big solid card, very gently taking this off, being very careful. There we go. And I'm just going to use a pencil and I'm going to trace the lid and cut it out. And then I'm going to take the, um, roughing, roughening upper, <laughs> the distressing tool. And I'm just going to distress it a little bit for some texture. And you can see even just that little change really changes the whole bottom corner of that side of the layout. And I think it looks a lot better. I'm going to use this scrap paper and I'm actually going to cut some photo corners from 
this scrap paper just to bring up some of that red and white checkerboard to the top. I don't want to overwhelm the page because it is a really strong pattern. Um, so I'm just going to add a couple of photo corners, but I, I just wanted to add a little bit more. I'm not quite sure which corners I'm going to put them on yet, but I do know that I just want to pull it up into the corner there. And that was not there. <laughs> that was too close to the original red and white checkerboard. Might use two, might use four. We're going back and forth. We're trying to decide. Felt like this one was a little bit better of a placement. So we're framing both of those photos. And then I'm going to add one more at the top of this other photo underneath the sticker. Um, I don't know why I felt like I had to add another pizza. I like I totally forgot that there was pizza down in the bottom corner. But I do actually like the way that that yellow sign brings the signs up from the background into the foreground. So I do like the way that that looks in the end. But I, I, I didn't realize at the time that I was doubling up my pizza. But that's okay. They're walking in different directions. It's all right. We can have two pieces of pizza. <laughs> I'm going to add this arrow here and then I'm going to take the other arrow, arrow off of that sticker sheet and add it to the other side of the page for a little bit of continuity and some repetition which will help the design of the page. But when I do that I need to move the whole paper clip because now it's in the wrong place. We're going to add it to the top instead, put a little heart above his head. And then lastly, we are almost done here. I'm going to add some of these enamel dots that I haven't used yet for any of my pages, just for some pop, a little bit of bling. So we're gonna add red ones on this side and yellow on the other side, maybe, <laughs> there we go. I just like to always add them in groups and clusters of three to frame places where I want you to look. So. I use them to frame the title down there and then I'm just going to add as a cluster of three sort of right here somewhere. I'll settle in just a second and figure it out just to add a little bit of bling. But that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. If you don't already, you can follow me over on Instagram. I'm at Tracy M. Reed. I'd love to see you over there as well. And I will see you next time. Thank you.